In this video, we're going to cover a pretty challenging question involving patterns as well as grouping. Jia Ling used uh, two strings of identical triangle flags to decorate a wall. The two strings had the same number of flags. The flags on each string form a repeated pattern as shown below, and the length of each flag was 20 cm. The question says that if there were 150 black flags all together in both strings of flags, what was the length of each string of flags in meters? Alright, so first of all, you must observe that both the strings had the same length. Can you see? Alright, they had the same length. And that's because all the flags are identical, which is 20 cm in length. Alright, so now the next thing is you must observe the pattern. For string 1, right, let's cut the pattern into every three triangles. Can you see? Every three triangles, right, you have two a white color flag and one black flag All right same thing over here you also have two white flags and one black flag and the pattern will continue while for string two the pattern lies in every four flags can you see in the first pattern All right you have uh, two white and two black in the middle sitting for the second one over here you also got two white and two black all right all right so now here's the important thing okay we know that both strings are the same length all right, in string one, the patterns come in groups of three, while in string two, the patterns come in groups of four. So here me a guess. What is the next step? We will need to find the core multiple of three and four. Make sense? Right, because both strings are the same length. All right, so let's find the core multiple of three and four, which is equal to 12. Okay, and so now, the next question is, in 12 flex for string one, how many black flags will you have? All right, the, to find the answer, you simply take 12 divided by 3, you get 4 black flags. Okay, and the reason is because in string 1, right, every 3 flags will give you 1 black. And what's the rationale behind this? Okay, very simple. In string 1, every 3 flags will have 1 black. So in 12 flags, to find number of black, you simply take 12 divided by 3, you get 4 blacks. Okay, so 12 flags of string 1 will contain 4 black flags. While for string 2, to find number of black flags, you gotta take 12 divided by 4, then you multiply by 2. Right, because in string 2, every 4 will have 2 black. Alright, so in 12 flags of a string 2, you have 6 black. So now you can do grouping. Right, you take 4 plus 6, you get 10 black. That will be in one group of 12 flags. So to find number of groups, you simply take a total black color flags, divide by 10, you get 15 groups. Can you follow me? And what does one group stand for? Once again, one group stands for 12 flags of string 1 and 12 flags of string 2. Alright, so that will be considered one group. So now to find the length of each string, you simply take 15 times 12, right? Because in one group, there are 12 flags, correct? So 15 times 12, and since we know that one flag is 20 cm, which is equal to 0.2 meters, so when you take 15 times 12 times 0.2 meters, the answer is 36 meters. All right, and that will be the length of each string in meters.